Hello everybody. YouTube is giving me some grief. I don't know why. I couldn't start this one because it was switching me to some kind of holidays playlist that has absolutely no live scheduled for that. Anyway, um, I've been battling for a few days and apologies that I was not online live for my birthday but we had a streak of several days of um, bad weather and my pain level went through the roof and I wasn't really a good company I'm not a good company when that happens hi Marietta hi Cindy hi Colleen hi Darla hi Beth hi Jessica hi Gail and Sonia so I thought of just having a little bit of fun Okay, I keep losing my, there it is, I keep losing my needle. Um, and show you how you can make some cute leprechaun, actual leprechaun heads, um, earrings. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Judy. Hi, Jeannie. All right, so what I'm going to use and um, actually... I didn't even check. I guess I'd better check and see. Uh, this is Living Doll. It's not Primo. Let me actually check and see if it is available. I don't think Trish has anymore. But... Uh, you can use Fimo uh, doll as well. Give me just a second. Let me see if you can find this kind of stuff on. on the I updated some stuff in um, the Amazon Influencer Store. As you know, I'm trying to stay on top of things it doesn't always work very good <laughs> okay there we go to clays uh a theme also comes in uh, they have special doll stuff and it also comes in uh, the large bars if you are all into into sculpting yeah don't get on <coughs> don't get it on Amazon because the prices are absolutely outrageous I mean seriously 30 bucks I don't think so I wouldn't <laughs> advise anybody hi Jeannie Catherine Melody let me check one more time on polyclay play but uh, as you know I usually have quite a bit of this always let's see she doesn't have them listed let me see if I search doll she has professional female professional doll okay and um, but she's out of the living doll like of anything but in the professional um, doll she has she has them in small packages actually let me show you and please don't forget to use my affiliate link but you can see she has three different colors still in stock in stock so why i chose a uh, uh, bright color light color is because we are talking irish 
and even in the dark Irish still have very white skin right hi Lane so what we are going to do is to start with the little faces and I'm going to use if you want to to get it's valid for beads as well if you want to get the same side size of anything you just cut the whole thing and then roll it between your the palms of your hands and remember when you roll always roll only in the middle area until you have absolutely no folding lines left and let's do a second one and I have since yesterday I've been having those days that I I just don't feel good I don't even know what they are brought up by but the uh, it almost feel like I my blood pressure is very very low okay and then it will require a little bit uh, no if you enter Amazon through my stores link and you finish your purchase you know, I mean, you put the, whatever you buy, you put it in the um, cart and then you check out. I would still get a small, you know, the, the affiliate earnings. That's a few pennies. But if you go in through my store and then you add stuff to the cart and then you log off Amazon, you get off Amazon and then you go back in and you uh, check out, then I don't okay so of course you can do them all nice and round but what I'm going to do is to cut this in two so I can have two little flat round faces and I'm going to grab a mirror tile okay now leprechauns are not really connected to St. Patrick's Day is just the Irish connotation uh, leprechauns are a type of fairy uh, they are part of the Tuatha de Dan uh, people who live underground in the dark and whatever they are always male there are no female leprechauns and they are cobblers and most of the Irish fairies they have not just Irish fairies they have a certain sound they make you can uh, recognize them by like the wail of the banshee uh, or if we go to Central America the wail of the La Llorona hi Sarah and uh, the leprechaun sound is the little cobbler hammer but uh, they are supposed to be they are considered to be um, they're very uh, they are tricksters and uh, their whole behavior is to to teach people not to be greedy and try to get rich on stuff they never earned uh, you probably know the whole legend of the uh, pot of gold right and uh, and actually if you didn't watch it I can show you something to make you smile right in the beginning and then we'll get back to the I did the boo-boo here Uh, so I need to to get it back, but it depends on how I feel. I need to get back on on track and do another one with him, all grown. 
but give me just a minute and I will show you last year's video of Finnegan if you're not following him on Facebook or Instagram if you give me just a minute here to find his video he even has an Irish t-shirt I mean it's got the it's a green t-shirt and it's got the flag of Ireland shaped like a bone on the back and he looks absolutely smashing with it okay Facebook must be doing some kind of updates because it's working like crap again <sighs> hold on let me get it all up oh stop it so you can see little Finnegan as a leprechaun and there you go hope you enjoyed it <laughs> yeah he's adorable and he's just um, more used to wearing stuff I try to put something on him every day but you can imagine that with all the issues that he has been having we kind of had problems on uh, on that anyway so um, I'm trying to remember the name of the town. There's a town in Ireland. I think it's Collingsford. Where in 2009, they actually had a, a law when they declared leprechauns endangered species. And it is known then that about, I don't remember the exact number, 239, 237 leprechauns live in that area so and, and if you didn't know there is actually a, a condition a medical condition uh, the Donahue uh, syndrome or leprechaunism uh, and those are people born with defective insulin processing genes I, I'm trying to put it as short in layman's term as possible but because of that, uh, their organs don't develop properly, they don't grow properly, and they look like leprechauns. What people think of leprechauns are looking like. Okay, now, let me get on Zoom. And we are going to make a couple little leprechaun faces. Okay? There we go this bothers me this is too dirty and it bothers me i guess i didn't i should have cleaned it first i just grabbed one of them i didn't realize i did stuff on them since last time i put them there And a lot of times, you know, I don't see how things look until I see them on the screen. Because in normal light, they look fine. But, and they don't bother me. But when I do stuff like this, yeah, then they start bothering me. Alrighty. Now, what you need to keep in mind is that let's make them first... Uh, easy let's make a an easy pair of little heads okay so what you need to do first is to make and what would be the easiest for you would be to put in the nose because you want to do the um, a fairly big beard 
you need to put the nose just a pinch higher than the half of the bead so you grab this is about the size of a mustard seed and you cut it in two because they don't need to be very hi Musa they don't have to be very big right But you try to make them round so I'm going to place them first they look a little tall too high but you'll see what I'm going to do so right now they look like they are a little bit too high but what I'm going to do is to flatten them down like this then the next thing I'm going to make room for the eyes and because I want them to look cute I'm going to put the eyes a little bit kind of like on the line with the top of the nose then of course I need a little bit of <laughs> yeah I, then I'm not gonna put that up because we might get issues with YouTube but you're right it does look like that <laughs> a little bit <laughs> yeah I was thinking that when I showed them but I cannot say that because YouTube is cranking down on stuff that you can't even figure out what's your problem it's the same thing with the uh, Facebook though there the thing is that they rely a lot on AI and uh, it's it's ridiculous I mean I had I remember I was one time I was forbidden for a week to post on Facebook like a couple years ago because I posted the link to a YouTube video video of a ballerina dancing the thing is that the ballerina was wearing a leotard and even if it was white there were some moments where the the light on the scene was changing color and at one point because of the light being reddish yellowish uh, she looked like she was wearing pink leotards and I got banned for a week from posting because I posted nudity I mean, dude it's from YouTube YouTube doesn't allow nudity did you even look and it didn't matter I made appeal after appeal but it didn't matter but then again in January I got uh, again banned for uh, three days with absolutely no explanation no because you know you go in your settings and in your support and in your stuff and you find there what what did you do wrong and why why they messed you up nothing and there is no way to contact now to complain there is no way to do anything so it's just you shut up you don't have the right to complain you're using our platform so we can show you our ads and we'll decide whatever you can and cannot do so and you wonder why I, I try to be less tied to social networking as possible seriously why would you 
avoid to talk with them. That's kind of weird. Okay. So, for the beard, you can use a red or you can use an orange or a blush. I personally don't like to make them their beards too red or too orange. So, if you have the chili in uh, thank you Dana. If you have the chili in the Primo line, uh, which is a more subdued red then this is what I would suggest that you use so what I'm going to do now is to simply and see that's the deal I I did uh, condition everything I needed yesterday but I guess it needs reconditioning serious reconditioning um, as I'm working on that, the, a, a big video for beginners. And I explained that because I've been asked many times. Um, yes, copyright issues. Um, why? Because I've been asked many times, well, if I keep my... So I keep it like this. If I keep, or you know how some people keep it in... Um, page protector sheets and stuff um, then I don't need to condition it anymore right when I start um, working no you need to condition it unless you're working with a clay in the next two to three hours after you conditioned it you still need to condition it because as I explained before uh, polymer clay it's what's called a plastisol and uh, pl plastisol is kind of like ketchup. You need to agitate it and you push it to become uh, pliable and flowing and all that. But the moment you stop touching it, it will stay in that form. This is why we use it to do all kinds of stuff with it. But uh, again, to explain it very easily i don't like them that that much they don't uh, keep the air out properly that's why i prefer the cellophane bags anyway so again to make it very easy and not go through physics and chemistry and all that you know that everything in the universe has some kind of electrical charge right and uh polymer clay is essentially PVC particles and plastifiers, which usually are some kind of uh, something similar to silicone oil. Okay, similar. It's not the same thing. But anyway, you have the molecules of PVC and you have the molecules of the plastifiers. And uh, of course, they have electrical charges. And uh, when you condition them you mix them evenly because if you have too many pvc particles in one spot or too many plastisol particles in another spot that spot will become easy to break once it's baked so you want to have them mixed in an even ratio but because of their uh, electric charges they tend to associate with their own kind let's say if you had um, two groups of kids who know each other if you put them in a party they'll still after half an hour they'll try to get with each with their group so that's why they go with each of them goes with their bodies if you leave the play polymer clay long enough right so okay now I mixed it some and what I'm going to do is a little string and of course you can use if you have problems using the the hand method you can use your extruder to make very very thin strings
but you know that I, when I have just a little bit to make I don't get the whole extruder out because it's a pain in the behind to clean so I just make my little strings by hand and if you use this method you'll see that you can make strings that are very nice and even properly okay my next deal is to put on my eyeglasses to see what I'm doing right and I'm going to grab a needle trying to work and not get off the camera and yeah and today the bad weather is supposed to stop So yeah, this is the way you make them the most cute looking. And you want to start at the bottom. Because you want to make them curly beards. And this is the best way that I know to make this kind of stuff. If you have another... Let me see, this doesn't look very focused. Hold on. Give me just a second. There we go. Much better. But I'll show you another way to to make these if you don't want to go with the curly. Because you think it's too time consuming. It's prettier now. I prefer to the time consuming when I want to make something more special. And this I should put above. And you just build build them up. Well, we already have spring here. My daffodils are in bloom. My forsythia is in bloom. The willow starts soon coming up with buds. Okay, some little guy. Now, another way of doing this, and I'm not going to go all the way with this, because I don't want to keep you... Another way of doing this and still making it look like curly tangled beard is again you get the string and you kind of get it all tangled up and I need a little bit more so I'm gonna just cut it in half and you build a beard like this it's much easier and 
and simpler to build it like this it will still look like curly beard stuff when all is said and done and then I'll show you a third way But yeah, usually spring is here when I hear the the first tornado warning, and we did. We not in central Oklahoma, but there were some tornadoes yesterday in uh, in west in the Texas Panhandle and in western Oklahoma. It was not that bad here. Well, put the food up. Okay, so we got one beard here. And another way of doing this is much easier. Even easier than that. You just grab some of your clay, ball it, yeah, and you know exactly what I'm talking about because usually our stuff comes to you after it nails us, it gets you. Just place it here. Make sure it's well and nice placed all over the place and then all you start to do is It's not going to look very curly now, obviously. And then get and as I said the, the curly ones look much better. I would nevertheless even if you go with this I would still suggest that for better veracity to do just two curls one on each side of the face one off and then okay. all right so we're done with the faces and 
this is a simple sewing pin. I don't need an old. I made an old, old, old tutorial again. Just a second. Hold on, I know how to find it because it was pretty much in the beginning. In the very beginning, so if I go on my channel and I go on the videos and I look... Start with the oldest. I showed exactly how to make one of these. Three short tips, yes, there we go. Okay, because I showed in that one how to make... Uh, no, that's fine. How to make uh, one of these needle tools, how to make uh, bales out of copper wire for fridges, and how to make... Uh, a multiple lines needle tool. Okay, now our next thing. Sorry, as I said, I feel like I have low blood pressure. I guess I didn't get enough coffee this morning. I promise you, I'm not sleepy. I just have one of those things where I just keep yawning. look at something because it might be related to oh yeah I know why now I know why the barometer is very low it's 29.8 and usually whenever it gets below 30 I'm not good so it's not just below 30 it's 29.8 so that is really bad so for the top part obviously remember what we did last time i'm not going even to do all kinds of fancy stuff I'm just a pinch of jungle green Yeah, I'm looking forward because uh, once I get my second um, shot, then I'll be able to go walking again, you know, because I was too... I'm so sorry. I was too afraid of walking, you know, especially after it was shown that the uh, particles can stay in the air up to 30 minutes after somebody was there. So, I never know who went on that street. So, I didn't go walking in a year. And I really miss it. Really, really miss it. So, I only need practically one. I'm going to try. I'm not going to promise. But I'm going to try to be up on the 17. So, I did that little cylinder. I'm cutting it in half. I need to see what I'm doing. And only after you bake these, after that you put on backings. Okay? Okay, so we got the top of the hats. Now, let's make...
the hat brim. And again, we are going to cut this in half. And first place the brim. Let's give it a little little ribbon out. You can use regular green. I use green pearl and pollen is killing me here too. I mean I lived in Oklahoma for 20 years and I'm still not used to the pollen. I have a standing prescription for both albuterol and uh, what's the name of that? Flonase. I mean, it's not like I have to see the doctor or anything. It's an ongoing day. I get three months supplies at a time, and then my pharmacy sends in the refill request, and the doctor's office just sends it in. It's not... Because it's not like it's something that's going to ever go away. <laughs> and I'm really, really, really miserable without them. Whaty, whaty, whaty. Oh, oh my goodness, I, I've been here for more than half an hour. He is becoming very, very whiny. He's almost as attention needy as Seamus. And I cannot do stuff here too long before he comes and starts protesting. Come here. Come here. Come here. He comes and whines. He comes and whines that he needs attention. There you go. Let me remove the zoom we are still on zoom and there you go yes he came to cry that he I've been here for too long and he didn't get any kind of attention where's your tail he didn't get any kind of attention and he needs attention can someone someone tell me what color are Finnegan's eyes Because this is very, very tricky. He has very unusual eyes. Come on. Let people look at your eyes. Let people look at your eyes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Because they are not yellow. They are not green. green. In daylight, they look almost white. Okay, you got enough kisses? You got enough kisses? Yeah, I've never had a cat and I've never actually seen a cat with eyes like this. Anyway, so there we go. This is a, a, a little way to do leprechaun stuff. <coughs> I'm working on I did post uh, a short video yesterday on Facebook yesterday or the day before uh, I'm trying to remember I'm still working on yeah. I hate the plain picture in picture I mean you're done with that video you move out you close it you move out and all of a sudden it starts still playing in the corner of your screen leave me alone see yeah I did post it 
Let me show it to you. Coming up pretty nice. Uh, remember I said that I was going to do a Art Nouveau stuff and I'm getting there. Okay, it's just as I said the the whole pain thing. But it's supposed to be for Alderberg with inclusions. Here I was showing that I still need to sand a little bit more. And I'm almost done with the sanding and buffing. So next I'm gonna put on the uh, Art Nouveau decorations on it. But yeah, it is a... A box that's made entirely of clay so it's not on a on an anything yeah uh, there's quite a bit of I think I have flowers or if I don't have that means that I didn't make it yet but I thought that I have a flowers playlist let me check If I don't, I'll make one. It's Halloween. I have flower canes. So, I'd better gather all the all the flower stuff. But yeah, I have two different cherry blossom. I have the um, public one. And then I have a paid one. Hold on, let me grab them. It's made with that. And it's with translucent cherry blossoms. So, it's all kinds of translucent -y stuff. And that's okay, Elaine. But yeah, the, the cherry blossoms cane is, is really, it's not very hard to make. So, what do you want to do next Sunday? You want to do flowers? You want to do some flowers? Because remember there's a, there's a few lives. I think it was in one or maybe even two lives that I had uh, done spring flowers. And I know we did Lily of the Valley and then the wild um, hyacinth and I actually had some of the blossoms in my backyard it's been goodness I have I can tell you something I have I need to uh, go back and number my my videos because I have right now, where's my number? When the heck is my number? They changed the whole thing and uh, the whole dashboard in the back. And you cannot find this easily. Uh, stuff that used to be before. Oh. I think I have close to 800 videos now, so it's going to be hard to, to find. Anyway, I'll, I'll do a, a playlist with, I did a playlist with St. Patrick's, so if you go on my channel, you can find that playlist, and I'm going to do a playlist with flowers, but if you want to do anything else, uh, just let me know. Uh, we can work on some resin. And why don't I... Uh, why don't I put actually... 
a post on the community tab on here on YouTube and on the Facebook page asking what do you think and uh, we'll go from there huh. what do you think is that a good thing okay and yes I, I'm s I know that the jewelry box is not uh, with scrap clay but I have another one I'm working on that is with scrap clay so okay I actually have a plumeria I had a plumeria cane live on Facebook and I did download it from Facebook and posted it on uh, YouTube and you should find it in the flower canes let me see let me grab the flower canes real quick and I'll post the flower canes I'll post the link to the So this is the playlist, Junkwill, Daffodil, Junkwill, no, junk, Junkwill is Daffodil or Hyacinth, Daffodil. And then, and then the And I know that I did a couple, um, no, I didn't add it to the list. Uh, I did a couple, I did a brooch with it. For some reason, I didn't add it to the list. Well, it should be in the, of course, it still keeps it up. It should be in the live list but uh, I'll make a list with flowers just with flowers for you okay so we'll see what we can do next Sunday and at least right now it doesn't look like it's going to be raining so I should be able to do a much better job of standing up and doing stuff but uh, it's Oklahoma so you never know <laughs> But I hope you like how to do these little things and you enjoyed my storytelling. Because I love to tell stories. And uh, I'll try to get online on the 17th. I'll try. Again. Uh, see, the thing is that uh, why I'm in a much heightened level of pain is because uh, some of you know I go and I get steroid shots in my spine and then in my shoulders and in my wrists and uh, in the back I have a, a, a spot on the back where they remove the uh, latissimus dorsi muscle but there is a tendon there that was uh, cut and it's sending pain signals where there's nothing to be pain from anymore um, but because of covid I'm, I'm overdue by a year to get those so the longer it goes the longer my pain goes but after the second covid shot covid vaccine shot on the 31st i'll be able after the uh, 14th of april to go get my shots right so i will be feeling much better but until then i'm suffering what do you want i'd rather be in pain than have severe covid <laughs> you know I mean with all my issues and with my lung damage from chemo I'm not sure if I would survive that so let's not talk about it we got our vaccines more people are getting vaccines the variants will disappear and we'll get back to close to normal because believe me we'll never get back to what it was before okay but that's fine I mean I'm a gamer I don't mind being in the household <laughs> okay see you next sunday and let me rest a little bit and then i'll put up the questions and the playlist and everything don't forget to thumb me up okay and if you just discovered me uh please subscribe if i cannot do anything else at least i do the sunday lives okay thank you so much have a wonderful wonderful sunday goodbye <laughs>